Hi, I'm Dell from Indie Indie Reviews, and today I'm going to be re reviewing Viewpoint Magic Wand Portable Scanner. Let's get to the review. <laughs> Okay guys, here we go with the magic wand. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how it scans. Um, once I scan the uh, three um, items that I have, I'm gonna take you to my computer screen and show you what those images look like um, if you wanna print them out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. Um, you have to cut it on. To cut it on, you hold the button. And you cut it on as you'll see on the screen right here. It'll, it'll show you a scan. If you press it again, It'll go to a USB, and that will actually um, make it accessible to your computer. It, it'll, it'll show you um, the files that, that you have on, on the actual uh, device. It comes with the SD card. I'm going to press it again so we can get ready to scan. Okay, there we go. We're ready to scan. Um, let's go. For the first demonstration, I have, a, I have a picture of my wife when she was young. She was younger, should I say? <laughs> Go ahead and uh, put that in there. And for the last um, scan, I'm actually going to show you why I actually like this thing. Because you can actually remove it from the dock. Boom. Take it off. Move this out the way for you guys. So now I'm going to um, take you to my computer screen and show you the results or the image quality of the things that we um, scanned. So as you can see um, right here, I'm, I'm in the actual um, the device memory. Memory. You click on the first. Um, see right here. This is the dollar that I scanned um, off the dock. And that's one of the issues that you run into when you're scanning items off the dock is that sometimes if you don't actually get it on the uh, document or the photo, it'll do what you see right here. It'll it'll cut it off. But that's not a problem. It's just a matter of rescanning. I actually could have scanned it on the dock, but I just wanted to show you all that it it can scan off the dock as well. That that's actually why I got it. So if you want to scan a, a um a a photo or some um. And on a canvas, like a art piece of artwork or something, you can do that. And you can actually scan books as well. You can put it on a book and scan a whole page of a book. So for those who may homeschool or those who are teachers, something that may definitely come in handy. You can see right here. Now, don't worry. I was wondering if the scanner had messed up or if it was fading the... Uh, what you see but it's actually the actual picture itself is faded so i was like, okay cool so you don't have to worry about it those who you know may end up getting it don't worry about it the actual um piece of paper that i scanned was actually a little faded and i looked at it just to make sure so you can see though um just pretty good it looks good go to the next one here's the photo of my wife you can see again it looks pretty good I'm actually right now looking to the at the actual photo. Now I will say, um, the actual photo itself, it looked like it was the actual photo itself is uh is is low quality. So it's, so that's not the, again, it's not the, the the scanner doing that. The actual photo itself is um looked look like it was uh, maybe my wife got it from her phone, and she um she printed it at uh, CVS or wherever she got the photo printed from. So the actual photo itself is low quality. Um, I think I believe I got this off um Macari for about twenty nine bucks. Um, it was like seven bucks shipping so i might have paid a little a little over 30 bucks you know so that's not bad i'm gonna show you on amazon how much you're going for and then show you on ebay what you're going for as well 
like I said, you can find them on Amazon. Um, but I would probably look for eBay. At eBay. eBay got them much cheaper. But to give you a good idea, right here, with the with the dock, which is what I have. Again, I didn't pay that much for it. I only paid about uh, twenty nine bucks, seven dollars with shipping. And right here, it has just the uh, just the actual wand itself, without the dock. But here on eBay, let me go to it. Here on eBay, you see with just the um, wand itself, which is you 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 can do what I did, which was you have to put it on the table and just scan, or if you have a book or something, um, about fifteen bucks, seven dollars shipping. So they're they're not expensive at all. Even if you want the um the docking station on eBay, see, fifty five. 39 bucks. So, again, that's not bad. Now, let me give you... My final thoughts on the device is that it's it's a great device to use. Um, like I said, I, I like the portability. You can... It doesn't take up too much space. You you can put it um, on the desk somewhere. You can put it in a drawer if you have a, a drawer on your desk. As you can see behind me, I don't I don't have drawers on my desk. I have a studio desk. But I, I got it because, like I said before, um, oftentimes when I'm doing things for my job and I have to scan things and send them back or even for taxes, I would have to use my phone. And it just required too much running around. I'd have to send it to Google Drive and then save it, uh, download it from my computer, and it was just it was just it, it was just too much. You know, it was just too much. I just wanted something I can just have on hand and send it send it to my um you know just have it in a hard drive somewhere if I needed it. So it's as you can see for yourself, see, it's 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 battery operated as you have it hooked up to your computer, which is what I had during the video. Um, it, it charges, and I guess if done the video, you probably seen the um, battery thing going. It's it, it letting you know that it's charging. So again, you can take it with you on the road. If you're in your car and you gotta just scan some documents, or you're on the go, you can just scan documents. You don't have to worry about having a cord. And of course, once you get back to your computer or your house, or whatever, you plug it up to your USB drive. Um, go ahead and take the um, documents or photos that you that you scan, and then send them to wherever you gotta send them. It's 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 a no brainer. Now I, I do want to say that um, this is this is an old device. I don't know how old this one is specifically, but but I know um it's an old device. When I, when I looked up YouTube reviews, I seen reviews from like seven to like ten years ago. So it's a, it's an old device. It's it's old technology, but you know who cares if it's, if if you can use it? Who cares? You know. So when, like I said, when I got it, I wasn't looking for something expensive because I don't scan enough to go out and buy a big scanner and have it sit on my desk or have it sit beside my printer. I don't scan that much, so I didn't want anything that's big and. You know, also I didn't want anything that was too expensive because again I don't use them that much to spend the kind of money to to have a printer. I mean, I'm sorry to have a scanner sitting on my desk. So for me, it works out just fine. I love it. Uh, it's it's the portability is small. You can put it away. You can put it on under your desk. You can put it in the drawer. You can put it on your bed. Wherever you want to put it at, and it's and it's not really like noticeable. Um. So and whenever you do need it, take it out, use it. Again, I love it. I love that. Um, my wife always. Jokes on me, calls me, calls me the gadget guy. She was like, "You always buy things that you don't necessarily use every day, but they come in handy whenever you do need them." Um, I recently bought a generator, um, and we actually we ended up using using it. But it's like again, things that you may not use every day, but when you do need need to use it, hey, I'm glad I'm glad I have it. You know, so that's it for my review of the Magic Wand, um, and, and also the Magic Wand, you know, docking station. Like I said, you can buy it with the dock, or you can just buy it by itself. Either way. It does a phenomenal job. I will say though, with if you buy the wand without the dock, as you saw from my photo, sometimes when you're when you're scanning, you have to hold the picture and kind of it'll kind of be crooked. So that's why I, I prefer to use it on the dock. I don't prefer to use it off the dock. I mean, I, just, I was just showing you guys for the purpose of this video that if you if you if you're somebody who has a job where you actually don't need the dock, you can just buy the wand and it'll be useful to you. So again, MDMD reviews. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and like the video. Until next time, peace.